Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from the Java Challengers Initiative. And today we're gonna see a Java Challenger about strings. Okay, so that's the Challenger and we are creating a list here with those elements, new, Morpheus, Oracle, Trinity, and new again. And here uh, we have a predicate with a rule. We are asking if the string contains new. And here we are creating a list of some binary numbers and then reducing it to something. And then in the end, we are filtering everything and invoking the method of match. And that's it in on this challenger. And uh, I'm gonna give you some time to think about the answer and let me know when you're ready. Okay then, so let's see the answer. -da 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 -da. Oh, yeah, so you almost got it right, Farah. You just forgot to say that it would be false. Yeah. Okay, but don't worry. I'm going to explain why it's this answer. And then if your intention of this challenger was the same from my explanation, let me know. Sure. Thank you. Okay, then. So let's see why it is this answer. Uh, let me just... Yeah, so the final answer is Agent Smith is looking for Neil twice and false. So let's see why. Okay, so the first thing to analyze here is that the um, reduce method will do uh, basically what's saying here. It will reduce the whole stream to just one value. So for example, on this list, we've got here one, zero, one and one so basically this reduce method will be um, just adding one number in the other so it will get um, one and it's gonna add to zero and then it's gonna be one and then it's gonna add again and again so the final result will be three here so i can even debug here yeah so let's go here we are just building our predicate. So we are basically saying that the string has to contain new. And here we are creating our list and then returning a string. And here we are reducing our list here to three. The RL throw won't be executed because uh, this uh, it's just okay, this logic. And then on this string, we're gonna be uh, filtering all the strings that has the length of three or all the strings that has the length equals to three or greater than three. And then we're gonna ask if all the elements match to the rule that we created here. So what's gonna happen here is that in the first element, new will be found, but the stream will try to find new in the second element, but it won't find, so it will be false. So let's see here. Yeah, so the first string is new, so it will be true, but the second one is uh, more fields. So the all match method is not going to work because the all match method would have to check every element from the stream and all the conditions would have to be true. But this doesn't happen in our condition here because only the first element will match on the condition of string contains new. So even though it's false, it's gonna print that. Yeah, and then the final result will be false. Do you have any questions about this challenger, uh, Farah? Yes. So the only question what I have is, to be honest, I thought that it will only pr print agent smith is looking for neo and then again it will print because your statement on line number 20 system dot out dot print and neo farm um i thought that would print uh agent smith is looking for me i i did not think it will it will print false yeah um, it's because this method for uh, it checks all the elements so all the elements have to match this condition right, right. so right. For example, I'll make it very clear. So if we put all the elements as Neo, then it's gonna be true. Let's just check here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so all the elements are equal to Neo. So all the elements match the condition we just created here. And for example, if we have here uh, more fields, then the condition- It will print uh, three times. No, it will print three times. Agent Smith is looking for Neo, and then it's gonna be false. 
Why three times? Because it will uh, do the check in order. So it will check if the first element is equals to new. It is? Yes. So go to the next. Is equals to new? Yes. So go to the next. Is equals to new? No. So stop. And then this print line will be executed three times. Okay. I see. Okay. Got it. So let's just run it here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay, perfect. So that's the, um, the purpose of the all match method. It will check element by element. And if it is not the element, it will just break. If the condition doesn't match, then it will just break. Okay. Okay, so thanks, Farah. I'll just stop sharing my screen. Okay, so that was the challenger about strings. And you could see that the all match method will um, compare every single element to just check uh, if the condition is being uh, matched. And yeah, that's the purpose of this method. And if you want to know more, you can go to javachallengers.com. And also you, you can get the, the code from the Java Challengers on the description of this video on the bottom, and then get the code, uh, run your own tests. And on that way, we're gonna be uh, improving your Java skills a lot. Okay, uh, and of course, if you like the video, please give a like and get subscribed because on that way, you're going to be helping me out to provide even better videos for you. Okay, so see you the next time.